Hello everyone, it's Thursday. I don't normally talk about trains on this channel very often since most of my viewers aren't knowledgeable in the field that is railroading. Granted, I'm not that knowledgeable either, but I've been exposed to various aspects of railroading throughout much of my life. So while I don't consider myself to be an expert, I like to think that I know at least a little bit about what I'm talking about when it comes to railroading. I talked about something called positive train control in a previous video, but this video actually stems from the implementation of positive train control, or PTC as it's more commonly referred to. So current labor agreements in America state that the minimum number of crew members inside the cab of a locomotive is two, one engineer and one conductor. Railroads have been lobbying the unions to reduce that number to a single engineer and have a conductor operate remotely from the ground. The arguments that the railroads have is that the new PTC technology makes it unnecessary to have a second person in the cab as the system is designed to prevent accidents that are caused by human error. You can refer to the PTC video that I made that's linked in the card up on one side up here or in the description below. It talks more about what PTC is and how it came to be. Now the union's main argument against the idea of one person crews has two key points. The largest one being the safety risks associated with only having one person in the cab. Now the railroads themselves have said that the data collected between 2001 and 2018 from train related crashes does not support the idea that two man crews are safer. Now earlier this year the Federal Railroad Administration, also known as the FRA, aborted a proposal to mandate two-person crews because of this finding. Hi, quick relocation. I had to move to go see a train and almost missed it. Anyway, back to what I was saying earlier. The remaining arguments from the union mention the preservation of railroad jobs. By taking the conductor out of the locomotive, you have one less person to pay and therefore reduce costs for the railroad. Now, there are many, many ways that you could defend both sides of this argument, and quite frankly, I like to stay out of these kind of debates. But if I would have to say anything about my opinion or anything at all about one-man crews, it's this. Technology is only as smart and as advanced as the humans that created it and operate it. You know, it is great that we're getting to this idea of autonomous operation of vehicles. But just because that we can do that doesn't mean we have to. If a system is working well in its current state, why do we need to change it? Well, I do understand that PTC was created to make operating trains safer. There's no guarantee that it won't fail at some point simply because the technology is so new and there still may be some bugs that need to be worked out. Those of you watching know that I am all for change. I've talked about change in so many of my previous videos and I'm all for it when it's done in the right way. But when the change seems to be more about profit and costs rather than the well-being of the humans who are working in the particular industry involved, I can't really get behind it. Whatever happens, happens at this point. The idea of one-person crews has been talked about amongst the railroads for many years, and I can guarantee that it's going to continue for quite some time. I hope this video was at least somewhat informative to you regarding the current state of America's railroading scene. I know most people don't really care, but considering this is such a huge part of my life, and it has been such a huge part of my life for many years, I wanted to say something about it. There are plenty of different resources online that talk about the ideas of one-person crews and why it's a good idea and why it's not a good and all this other stuff regarding safety and all that. I will link to some of those articles in the description below. Do not feel obligated to read them. They're just there for your perusing if you wish to take a look. All right, thank you all for watching. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you later.